we find ourselves in a time marked by an incredible shift in energy. This shift is profound and all-encompassing, impacting not just the world around us, but the very essence of who we are. This is more than just a societal or environmental change. It's a transformation of our collective consciousness, a redefinition of what it means to be human in this interconnected universe. The energy that surrounds us is vibrant and alive, pulsating with possibilities and potential. As we become more attuned to this energy, we start to realize that we are not just passive bystanders in the grand scheme of life. Instead, we are active participants, co-creators of our reality. By understanding and harnessing this energy, we open ourselves to a world of transformation. We learn to navigate life not as victims of circumstance, but as architects of our destiny. At the heart of this transformation lies the power of awareness. Awareness is the key that unlocks our potential. It's the light that illuminates our paths and guides us towards greater understanding and wisdom. Being aware means being fully present, conscious of our thoughts, emotions, and actions. It means observing our inner world just as keenly as we observe the world around us. With awareness, we begin to see the patterns of our lives, the habitual thoughts and behaviors that have shaped our experiences. We recognize the power we hold within us to change these patterns, to rewrite the scripts of our lives. Awareness leads to understanding, and understanding opens the door to change. When we are aware, we can no longer live in ignorance or denial. We see things as they are, and from this place of clarity, we can make conscious choices that align with our highest selves. Our beliefs are the foundation upon which our perceptions of the world are built. They shape how we see ourselves, others, and the circumstances we encounter. But what if these beliefs are rooted in misconceptions or outdated ideas? It's crucial to question and examine our beliefs, to hold them up to the light and see if they truly serve our growth and well-being. Beliefs are not just thoughts. They are powerful forces that can either limit or liberate us. When we cling to beliefs that no longer serve us, we close ourselves off to new experiences and insights. We limit our ability to grow and evolve. By opening our minds to new ideas and perspectives, we create space for transformation. We allow ourselves to see the world and our place in it in a new light. This process of questioning our beliefs is not about discarding them indiscriminately. Rather, it's about discerning which beliefs empower us and which hold us back. It's about choosing beliefs that resonate with our deepest truths and aspirations. When we align our beliefs with our authentic selves, we pave the way for a life that is rich, fulfilling, and in harmony with our highest potential. In our modern world, we are inundated with information from countless sources. The media, in all its forms, plays a significant role in shaping our perceptions and beliefs. However, it's vital to approach the information we receive with a healthy dose of skepticism and discernment. Not everything that is presented to us is the whole truth. Often, it is a fragment filtered through various lenses and agendas. Learning to see through the illusion and seek our own truth is a critical skill in today's world. It involves looking beyond the headlines, questioning the narratives, and seeking a deeper understanding of the issues at hand. It's about recognizing the bias and limitations of the sources we rely on and taking the responsibility to inform ourselves from a variety of perspectives. This discerning approach to media and information is not about cynicism or distrust. It's about empowerment and responsibility. By critically evaluating the information we consume, we take charge of our understanding of the world. We become active participants in our own education, rather than passive consumers of information. In doing so, we equip ourselves with the knowledge and insight needed to navigate the complexities of our world with wisdom and clarity. In the midst of the challenges and struggles we face, it's essential to remember the inherent goodness that exists within humanity. This goodness is not just an ideal, it's a fundamental aspect of our nature. 
We are wired for empathy, compassion, and connection. These qualities are not just social constructs. They are embedded in the very fabric of our being. Despite the narratives of division and conflict that often dominate our discourse, the truth is that at our core, people are inclined towards kindness, generosity, and cooperation. This inherent goodness is evident in acts of selflessness, in the bonds of community, and in the everyday interactions that weave the tapestry of our shared human experience. Recognizing and nurturing this goodness is crucial, not only for our personal well-being, but for the well-being of our global community. Many of us live in a state of emotional survival mode, constantly reacting to the challenges and stresses of life with fear, anger, or frustration. This survival mode is deeply ingrained, a primal response to perceived threats to our well-being. However, in our modern world, these threats are often psychological rather than physical, and living in this state of constant alertness can have detrimental effects on our health, happiness, and overall quality of life. Breaking free from this cycle is essential for our personal development and spiritual growth. It involves recognizing the triggers that send us into survival mode and developing strategies to respond to them in more constructive ways. This process requires self-awareness, patience, and practice, but the rewards are immense. As we learn to regulate our emotional responses, we gain a sense of calm and clarity that allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and resilience. To truly transform our lives, we must learn to rise above negative emotions. This doesn't mean denying or suppressing our feelings. It's about understanding them and choosing how to respond to them. Emotions like fear, anger, and sadness are natural and sometimes necessary, but when they dominate our lives, they can keep us stuck in patterns of negative thinking and behavior. The key to overcoming these emotions is to cultivate a state of mindfulness and emotional intelligence. This involves being present with our feelings, observing them without judgment, and understanding the messages they are trying to convey. By developing this awareness, we can make conscious choices about how to act rather than being driven by unconscious emotional reactions. Change is a process, not an event. It involves a gradual unfolding, a series of steps that lead us towards our desired outcomes. This process requires commitment, effort, and persistence. It's about breaking old habits, forming new ones, and consistently moving towards our goals, even when it's challenging or uncomfortable. This journey of change involves several key elements, self-reflection, awareness, and the willingness to embrace new ways of being. Self-reflection allows us to look inward, to understand our motivations, fears, and desires. Awareness helps us to see our patterns and behaviors more clearly, to recognize what's working and what's not. And embracing new ways of being involves stepping out of our comfort zones, trying new things, and being open to different perspectives and experiences. Our thoughts and emotions have the power to create our reality. By changing how we think and feel, we can begin to manifest a different future. This means letting go of past emotions and focusing on the feelings we want to experience. It involves envisioning the life we want to live, feeling the emotions associated with that life, and acting in ways that align with our vision. This process is not about wishful thinking or mere positive affirmations. It's about aligning our thoughts, emotions, and actions with our deepest intentions and desires. When we do this consistently, we begin to attract experiences and opportunities that resonate with our new state of being. We start to see evidence of our thoughts and emotions manifesting in our external reality, reinforcing our belief in our power to create our future. This approach to creating reality is grounded in the principles of quantum physics, which suggests that our consciousness can influence the material world by aligning our internal state with the possibilities that exist in the quantum field, we open ourselves to a world of limitless potential where anything is possible. Mental rehearsal is a powerful technique that can significantly influence our brain's wiring and conditioning. 
This practice involves vividly visualizing and emotionally connecting with the desired future. It's not just about seeing an image in your mind. It's about living the experience in your emotions and senses. When you mentally rehearse being your future self, you're laying down new neural pathways in your brain, priming it to anticipate and create that future. This process is more than mere daydreaming. It's a focused, deliberate act of creation. When you mentally rehearse, you're teaching your brain that the experience has already happened. This changes the brain's chemistry and structure, making it more likely that you'll act in ways that align with your vision. The more you practice, the more natural and automatic these new thoughts and behaviors become, leading to profound changes in your life.